Hi there, this is James from Burton Waters Boat Sales, uh, just outside of Lincoln. Here we have the Princess 32, uh, which has recently just been cut and polished on the uh, GRP. Uh, and as you can clearly see from the video, uh, she has also just been anti-fouled as well. Uh, the drive legs have all been coated and painted up. Uh, I believe they've had a little bit of work done to them recently as well. Uh, so the boat really offers a boat that's ready to ready to go for the season that's coming ahead. Uh, I'll take you around the outside of the boat. It will give you a good idea for the condition. Obviously, we have to do bear in mind the age of the boat. Um, but in considering her age, she really is in good condition and she has a lot to offer uh, in all fairness, uh, especially with the accommodation, the good use of the side deck, especially for the inland waterways here um, on your uh, way through the locks and so forth. She's a twin engine boat, so it should make it a lot easier for maneuverability um, once you're cruising and into confined spaces. So what we're gonna do is we'll step aboard the boat uh, and have a look, see what accommodation and cockpit space she has to offer as well. Just bear with me here, I have got to climb up the ladders so, uh, um, and hold the video. As we come up, you can start to see that, you know, she's got a good, a good sensible deck all the way around the boat, uh, which will make it a lot easier on the inland waterway, especially when you're looking at um, locks and so forth. So as we come here, we've got a cockpit which we can set in to seat into. You've got uh, a nice rear bench with cushions uh, and then the opportunity for adding further seats into here as well. The helm seat I'm sure will spin round, but if you get some deck uh, director's chairs, they'll probably fit in there quite well. The canopy, as you can see, is in good order. Good visibility from the cockpit space as well, all the way around. Uh, and then the other nice feature is you've got the co-pilot seat here as well. So, just coming up to the helm here, you've got your controls for both the engines, obviously your helm wheel and your hour clocks just here. Boat's done around about 1500 hours, uh, which is not very many when you consider the age of the vessel. So this is quite a nice space, good visibility. Great for our climate because you can keep yourself fully enclosed in the boat when you're cruising. So it won't matter if it's a bit of light rain as well. Uh, just under the helm seat here, there is a hole at the moment. We're just waiting to live. We have a brand new fridge to go in there. Uh, so that'll be a brand new fridge in there. There's also a brand new uh, oven to come on the boat as well. Uh, so that should be quite good. You've also got a little window that takes you down into the saloon area from the cockpit. So you'll get plenty of light down here. So as we step down, it would appear the boat's had new carpet, uh, which gives it a really nice feel and a nice smell as well. You've got plenty of storage around the saloon area with a lot of seating space. Uh, additionally, um, you could use that probably as a, as a temporary spare single berth. Plus you've then got the benefits of being able to convert the saloon into a, a small double as well. Going forward on the boat, you've then got this further area of seating, uh, which also acts as two single uh, V-berths. Uh, again, so it gives you quite an opportunity to sleep quite a few people on the boat. And you've also got the benefits of additional storage here and underneath the bed itself as well. You've got plenty of light coming into the boat because you've got the windows all the way around. So that's a real nice feature, gives it nice and light and airy, especially on a day like today. Uh, the boat has also had a recent uh, galley top upgrade, uh, as you can probably see from the video, it's nice and shiny. Uh, and just underneath where that microwave is at the moment is a uh, brand new oven to be installed as well. Uh, just on the fridge, I'm not sure if it's brand new or it may be a nearly new one. So, and then just here, we've got a sliding door and that takes you into the head, which has then got a sea toilet, pumping sea toilet just there as well that can convert into also being a wet room as you've got the drain away at the bottom of the boat base here. So lovely little layout, plenty of space on board, really does sort of give you for, for river cruising. It's an ideal boat with the twin engines, fairly low profile in height, so bridges shouldn't be a problem. Uh, and then you've got your nice galley with plenty of space and seating area on it as well. I hope the video helps and gives you a better idea of this Princess 32 we have here for sale. Uh, please feel free to call the office on 01522 567. 
if you have any further questions about the boat. We look forward to seeing you when we can and we hope the video in the meantime will give you a good idea for the boat.